welcome back to the sewers, ladies and gentlemen. We are back to more Chinese Dota from the Feng Yun Grand Finals. Tong Fu vs DK in a best of five. Well, so far, DK has taken two out of these fives. So, if they win the third game, it is over. They walk home with $9,880. Otherwise, Tong Fu, DK's well, they might bring it to, to a game number four. And perhaps even a game number five deciding match. We'll see. Tong Fu ban out OD, ban out Timber Saw, none of that nonsense. They ban out Alchemist. And Clockwork, once again DK, they are going to pick up the Disruptor Tom and Rubik this time, and they have Bristle pick. Boss on their side. So we'll see what actually does transpire from this draft, they're going to show how Rubik Disruptor is done. And Lifestealer Luna actually being removed themselves as well. Nyx Assassin as well as Doombringer going to be removed so that Storm Spirit and Visage has place in this world. Storm Spirit really dislikes having a Doom, so... Ten seconds remaining. That up. Well, I'll see how well the Storm Spirit works out for them. Timber Saw being banned out means an instant Five Bristleback pickup. Remaining. Easy, easy pickup. And Disruptor being picked up more and more. And it's a very good hero. It's a good hero. It just lacks a little bit of that right click power against tough off lanes heroes like Bristleback as well as Timber Saw. But both of those heroes have been selected by the enemy team, so eh, no problem. We can pick it up ourselves. The Bristle Boss is going to be laying down quite a bit of hurt here. And. They pick up DK's the Titan, so Titan is going to look to soften up Bristleback, make him a little bit less quilly, and DK is going to look for his fourth pick here. Let's see what they want to pick up. They could look towards um, tri-lane Bristleback, they could go for an off-lane Bristleback, and they, they put a, put a tri-lane carry with Burning instead, put him on that maybe a gyrocopter Ten seconds or remaining. Luna has been banned out so no Nova for this game. I'd like to Five see something interesting I mean remaining. this after all uh, possibly the last game here from DK they're 2-0 up they really Reserve should try time. something funny maybe Ice 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 Purge you know something like that you know make it interesting for us make it uh, make it interesting for us to watch in that last game but there are a lot of new heroes here Bristleback all the Titan gonna pick up Bloodseeker Bloodseeker is a possible choice. Yes, I'd love to see a Bloodseeker. I'll see Bloodseeker. And Tong Fu. Oh, won't be expecting that for sure. And we'll see if DK are merciful. Will they want to put up a show? Well, it depends. Or do they want to take this 3 0 sweep and let's go home and smell the cash? It doesn't mean they will lose with a Bloodseeker. That's one thing as well. Anti-mage, ooh, they go for Night Stalker, okay, so they go for Tom Night Stalker, there goes our Bloodseeker, and we're not going to have any of that kind of stuff, but Night Stalker is pretty interesting, it's a nice silence as well on the Storm Spirit, it's very powerful, and we'll see what Tong Fu decides to go for, and return, the Night Stalker, very very strong, with his with his crippling fear, going to lock down the Storm Spirit, force him, uh, force him to go for a BKB, and with that, he will have less mobility. With a BKB forced out, it means you will have less Ten damage. Seconds remaining. So, five seconds. What's remaining. next on the board for Tong Fu? Well, remains to be seen. They Reserve really need time. a good carry, I think. Uh, something along the lines of maybe Spectre can destroy Rubik as well, Disruptor. Faces Void, that's good as well. Faces Void is pretty good. And um, we'll like to see what else they decide to pick here. Visage does secure them some pretty strong lanes if they want to go aggressive or if they get an aggressive try to placed against them. Daywalker, Night Stalker. And they pick up Slark once again, so Zou not having DK's any, any lost faith ban. in the Ice Frog is going to pick up the Slark and they ban out the Lich. Okay, so they ban out Lich. Tom Interesting Fu's they ban out ban. Lich though. Why would you ban out Lich? Let me think. Why would you ban out Lich? You don't want Frost Armor on your guys. Okay, you don't want Frost Armor on your guys. They just profit. Alright, so King Red is banned out. Rejoice, friends, rejoice. There'll be no King Rat this game. DK, gonna pick up a Quop. Oh. Tong Fu's turn to pick. Okay. This is new. Oh no, no. This is gonna be a tri -lane Night Stalker. It's gonna be a Quop of Pain. I love doing that. Quop of Pain. And it's gonna be on their solo mid position. Night Stalker, tri -lane. And something like what MVP Phoenix did earlier on as well. So tri -lane Night Stalker gonna be crippled in terms of EXP, but you have a safe amount of farm. And Bristleback will be on the offlane. 
Meanwhile, Ten we'll see what Kung Fu decides to pick remaining. as their last. So there's a lot of anti Storm Spirit at this point here. Five but Storm Spirit will have a good time as well. Can we see something cool? Um, that will stun maybe Viper. Reserve time. Nah, we don't have a space for a Viper. We'll see if they go for something interesting. I hope they don't pick something stupid like a Venomancer. Because that will definitely be disastrous and rather, rather bad for them. So we'll see. Queen of Pain. Is that an Ice 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 Queen of Pain? But no, what am I talking about? It's gonna be a mushy Queen of Pain. It's gonna be a bristle back for Ice Ice Ice. So once again, Ice 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 gets one of those kind of heroes uh, that can just really mess around on the side lanes there. And. Just cause a lot of trouble for heroes like Visage if you don't have a strong laner. Tong Fu once again having a lot of problems, so he knows there is some trouble. Oh man, you pick a crystal maiden against a disruptor, bristleback, night stalker, and queen of pain. Alright. ZSMJ is gonna hate his life now. He's gonna hate his captain as well. So Tong Fu, they draft the Crystal Maiden in this possibly last game of this best of five. I don't like it. I don't know about you. Ooh, I think Bristleback would just destroy them, to be honest. Well, Crystal Feeding is gonna be used as the last pick here. Oh, good early dinner for me. <laughs> All right, we'll see how well ZSMJ can play the Crystal Feeding, and they'll wait for the game to start, and we'll jump right in. Mushi's Queen of Pain. Nothing to sneeze at, man. Mu has a tough job ahead of him. And now, waiting for the last player to pick up MMY to pick up the Disruptor, Ice Ice Ice. Five seconds remaining. Alright. Gonna jump into the game now. We're gonna check out the... Just kind of run through the themes. So it's gonna be DK on the side of the Radiant, Disruptor. Prepare it's gonna be played battle. by MMY Mushi on the Queen of Pain. It's gonna be Bristleback played by Ice Ice Ice. It will be burning on the Night Stalker, Lanham on the Rubik. So, okay, some funny lanes coming out there. The Corp is definitely going middle for a moment. I thought where she is. I was wondering where she was going. But now, I can run up there. MMY with Ice 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 tagged up. It could be a good glimpse into lots of quills. Could be a painful death. But ZSMJ, ah, I was just talking about this. Anuxi set. I am definitely gonna buy this. Definitely gonna buy this new set by Anuxi. This is amazing. You can tell it's Anuxi's because it's a feather. Feather stuff. Oh, wow. so amazing. This is how Volvo wins money from me. Elder Titan, got to play by Kabu. Oh yes, haven't run through the rest of that. Tongfu, got to play Elder Titan as Kabu. Slot played by Tso. Visage played by Sunsheng. Zadis MJ on the Crystal Feeden. Mu, got to play the Storm Sprint. Pushing le. Okay, I don't know what they mean. Rage quit! That's what they mean. Oh, they said CM will do a 1v5. I promise. There, see? He says yeah. See? He says yeah. 1 versus 5. I'm not even kidding. Ni hao. Wo shi ya shi ling. Song gay first blood liang bai. Song first blood, Yang Bai Yang Tian Song, Song Li, Hai Tian Zi Wan. Hello, this means send you to the. I think send you to the other side, I think that's what it means. This means deliver you to me. Song Li Gay War. So, I said, I just firing some shots here, I'm gonna send you to the other side. ZSMG was asking for first blood. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see the CM take on five heroes? DK, don't stand a chance. Well, 
let's join in on the festivities. <laughs> oh, they're reconnecting back now. Crystal Maiden, selling first blood. <laughs> oh man, now all right, they're all starting to reconnect back. I think they had some internet problems. <clears throat> huh? Yeah, for you guys wondering, this is not uh, this is not my HUD. It's the tournament tournaments overlay. I can show you what my HUD is. It's the underworld, underwater. <clears throat> Underwater HUD, really nice, I must say. <sighs> Slot disconnected again. See him selling first blood. Alright, so what are we gonna do now? We got like a Mushi floating in midair. I, I really don't like how we can't use uh, we can't use showcase mode. It's kind of sad. Let's see, free camera view only. Yeah, kind of sucks. Okay, let's read cosmetics, guys. We all love reading cosmetics. Heavy barbed morning star. No cosmetic description. Okay. What kind of set is this? Okay. No light star cassettes. Rubik. Now I read these before. The one has such predictable power. Is a heavy burden. This. Hey, hand us the toe! <laughs> I'll say those who have not yet learned to turn back gravity. There is little that cannot be understood by the one trained to know the powers beyond. And then whips and the other swallows, and yet such beauty eludes those who lack the discipline to pierce the mundane. The focus and bend the wind, the wild unseen energies to one's whim is a skill few possess. Locks back. An eye for an eye and a storm for his enemies. No foe can escape the piercing glare of the storm rider. As storms are born and die upon the plains of Darud, only to be born again next season. So too is the order of the storm rider eternal. Ages of the storm, this guy. Rampant of the scaled hunter, astride the last legendary architect. Arch Tyrex. A skilled stormcrafter channels the fury of the storm itself. Storm Thrasher. The power of the summer squalls laser thrashing on the enemies of the destructor. Storm Riders Deflector. Fallen to the ancient temple in Druid. The armor turns away blades and spells. Storms are not so easily deflected. Storm Riders Bracelet. This armor comes from an age long forgotten and it crackles with the ancient power of the Storm Rider. Slark, my man. Stop cross-dressing. Bug. Crystal Maiden, you yeah, haven't read this just yet. Ah, no, because they're disconnected out. A faded alloy ring attracts static electricity. Yep. Isn't Crystal Maiden a beauty? We're running out of cosmetics, guys. This is when the game ends. This is when we turn off the stream. Oh, right, Crystal Maiden's back. We can look at our cosmetic before it goes off. Yay! Alright! Beautiful Snow Angel, Crystal Maiden. <laughs> oh. 
well, I got exposed. Uh, beautiful snow angel, pulgins of the frozen feather, day before the wizard is sender. <laughs> Glacier to begin his hibernation. He offered Crystal Maiden these last precious gifts armor and a staff. Strong as ice but light as a feather. I don't believe the strong as ice thing is bull. Believed to have once belonged to a winter deity. Okay, the frozen feather. No, okay. A day before the wizard descended. No. Oh, a nuxie. Being lazy, are we? Copy pasta at work here. This is copy pasta at its best. Uh, Nuxi, please no cost copy pasta, Reno, my story. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I just realized this guy's name. I means beat small kids. What a bad person. I don't know. Those Chinese are too deep for me. <laughs> Alright. Anuxi, copy pasta, shots fired at winter. We'll find out more dirty secrets on Anuxi next time on Beyond the Summit, Beyond the Scandals. Well, alright. BTS is such a cool acronym, you have so many terms begins. you can make out of it. Alright, now 0 0 0, the game will start. Tong Fu, gonna settle their problems. My ping is okay, 155 is alright. On Chinese servers, it's pretty good considering how perfect the perfect world servers have been recently. Quote, quote. Mushi, no talisman, pull tango. Congrats, you know how to buy a null talisman. That is MJ. Got to drop an observer ward for his buddy. So, and a move. And Ice 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 with the good block here. He's gonna block, 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 and he's gonna miss it. Oh, it's a good enough block. They get the range creep past here. And Sunshine gonna meet up with Ice 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 on the high ground here. They gotta get the first deny there. The quills are gonna miss. And Sunshine might want to pick himself up a wand. So, might want to give him one last hit just to get the wand up. Uh, they're going to dive Kabu here. Kabu might be in trouble. There's a glimpse here already. He's going to take some right click, but the outside will be fine. And meanwhile, Whistle back. Just quilling it up. Moo. That'll take the wind from their sails. Actually, to be honest, I don't even know if Anuxi created the Frozen Feather set. Oh, uh, Moo! 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 What are you doing, Moo? Moo! Moo! What First are you doing? Blood. Is he lagging? First blood. Just a little. <laughs> Is he lagging? Okay. Because that was kind of silly. Really was. Oh, right, the set was made by Cersei. Okay, it's not Anuxi, so feathers are not made by Anuxi. Okay, my mistake. But Anuxi did make the Enchantress set. And there you go. Shanxing is going to die here. The quills are going to be in his face. There's going to be one more smack. No, not in mana here. The Grave Chill is going to slow him down, so Ice 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 will have to back off. No kills here on Shanxing. Shanxing, very, very lucky that Ice 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 ran out of mana because all his stats are getting stolen right now by. Uh, so, so wants to pounce this, and is he gonna pounce this? He is. Frostbite on him. Ice, 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 dropping real low, real low, and by real low, I mean real low. But kills are uh, gonna be supreme here, and it's gonna get away. ZSMJ takes 74 damage on the tower. Now pull in here from Mu. He's gonna get that right click on that Mushi. One v one runner up in this. He's gonna bring it down. I think Mu is really lagging, and he's gonna get a second death here against the Queen of Pain. Now he's level five compared to a level three Storm Spirit. I don't know what the Mu is doing. And I think Mu might be lagging here. He was lagging on, on the Haskell as well. Now Slark kills off Bristleback, so Ice Ice Ice, an obligatory feed on the offlane. Very, very standard. Nothing special here. The Spirit a little bit late to the party. Doesn't come back in time. So now 3 1 Tong Fu. Looking bad already in this early start of the game. Mushi is going to snowball out of control. And level 3 storms. And no, Bristleback comes back in and kills the Visage right away. So, it's another kill there. 
but I'm not so sure what Storm Spirit is doing. Level 3, a Storm Spirit playing from behind is not a happy Storm Spirit. And he had a lot of regen and he didn't manage to get any of that. But now with the high, high, high um, level advantage Mushi has, he's nearly level 6 compared to Moose level 3 Storm Spirit. Oh, it can be an instant burst to death uh, with that Sonic Wave Scream of Pain. So he has to be very, very careful here. Mushi with the Haze Durin is going to be easy pickings as well. Now he has boots. I don't think Storm Spirit can stay in this lane anymore. He needs Sunshine. He needs someone to sit in lane and tank it up for him. Because if he takes one dagger to the face, I think uh, I think Mushi can just straight kill him. Up. Straight up kill him. Now the level 6 is going to come. The Scream is going to fly. And I think Mushi is going to kill him now. Hey Strun, yep, that's a dip. Storm Spirit, Storm Spirit is definitely dead here. No chance at all. He's going to run after him. Scream, poke, dead. Killing spree for Mushi. They might just have a very, very bad game here. They are actually going to have a very, 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 very bad game here. Level 5, Bristleback on the way here. The Quills are going to come out. I don't think this support, these supports are going to do as much good. So, what are you doing? So, please. So, Soul Assumption is going to fly the Quills. One more Quill. No, so is going to get it. So, enough burst damage from both sides. They drop really, really low. Because Bristleback is balanced. And they're all going to have Quills sticking out of them. Sunshang really needs a magic stick here. And Storm Spirit going to have his team ask him, What is going on? Meanwhile, Elder Titan gonna go one on one against Lanham gets tossed onto the cliff there, but all the trees break, so he's very, very happy about that. There's a ping here from Disruptor, but one more poke from the side. The spirit does come here, try and harass him back. MMY as well as Burning's Night Stalker, level 5 now. First nighttime cycle level 5 on the Night Stalker. Very, very well done. Uh, because of the perfect pulling, I think, that's been done by the support so far. Night Stalker Dyer's able to get perfect tower, EXP here. Uh, Radiant pulling is a Dyer's lot easier. And Dire pulling not as great here. Level 1 Elder Titan, man, this guy has been so and so has this Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit has taken to the jungle and it's gonna face Mushi even there. Mushi is gonna taunt him with his illusion. And now, Quills, Quills, Quills everywhere. Ice 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 is Quillium the foe. I love that pun so much. Mu is gonna have, his, uh, gonna have his jungle. He's not gonna be able to stay in lane, which is what I said earlier on. Now Mushi's gonna look for him. Yeah, the jungling Storm Spirit from the middle lane. It's now going to send it back. Now burning now has treads, and now six to two right now is the score. Ice 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 on the off lane, getting a lot of kills there on the heroes. This is why I'm saying I questioned the Crystal Maiden pick, I questioned the Slark pick. The Bristleback was a first pick. You had plenty of heroes to look to counter him. A lot of heroes can do this. One of them is Shadow Demon. You banish the Bristleback, drop an arrow on him, or drop a spit off on him. The Soul Catcher really makes him unable to stay in lane. But you go for heroes like. Slark, go for here's like Crystal Maiden is when you really get a lot of trouble. Shan Sheng with zero armor, you are not gonna have any chance at all. ZSMJ Regeneration. Regeneration gonna be stolen up here by Dyer's ZSMG. Doesn't help him because he has attack. been jungling a bit. And look at this! Balance back! Is in the house here, and he's just gonna beat up on so, and he gets that kill. Oh, Easy pickings. Oh, pardon my quills. Well, Sunshine, pardon me, cause you dead. Nope. He buys all his items. He knows he's in trouble. So you gotta run away. Yes, he's gonna run away. You gonna tank tower shots. That's how balanced he is. Balance back. In the house, eight to two now. Bottom lane getting crushed. This game is looking Dyer's very over, actually. To be honest. Thanks, B Grab. Oh wow, really. Did you forget he your might actually safe just tap out now. Word? Net worth, 600 net worth. He's gonna die without- No, he's, he has boots. Crystal Maiden might just attack. end without boots. No, he has boots as well. Elder Titan, you might never pass level 3 at the rate this is going. MMY gonna feel very safe staying here. Zou gonna look to kill up MMY, but not gonna happen. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Mushy. Mu. On uh, the other hand, I'm gonna take some farm here. Zero and three on the storm spray. He's really trying his best. It is the last Dyer's game. It is possibly is the attack. last game for this best of five. There, DK in a very commanding position. They are feeling really good. I'm not so sure if Tong Fu are having some latency issues. I feel bad for them if that's the case. But Bristleback, he's now gonna roll on in and move. So you gotta get anything, anything done. Burning is nighttime. Batman. Abu, oh, look here, and that Batman gonna die from the side. Mushi comes in from the side, says hello. Sonic wave not necessary, and a poke here from Mushi, and a tick from the Shadow Strike will kill them all. Ten to two. We'll see how much this thing goes, how much of a beating Tongfu takes before they tap out. And now so is one point dark pack, three points of pounds, 
and he has forced to get out of there. Slark does not do well against area damage. Now Zou, as that is MJS or Sunshine, along with Mu, gonna come and dewalt this Mushi. 5 and 0 right now on his Queen of Pain. Off lane Bristleback has managed to trash the entire tri lane out of the lane, destroy Death Tower, and. Well, Dyer's all of them are huddling middle now. Huddle, gone. huddle, level 3, let's go, Smoke Gang. And Stone Spirit level 7, Sun Sheng level 4. Things are not looking too hot here. So, he's gonna try and bait it up. And where are they running? They're running up top. We'll see if they get any kills here. Burning has an invisibility rune. What can go wrong? How about everything? And break your smoke. Wonder where that is. On the high ground, doesn't find it. They find an invisibility. They find a lot of heroes behind there. I think Burning could easily kill this. Drop the sentry ward and no kill for them. At least he gets to show off his flashy, uh, flashy CM set. Otherwise, not going to get anything done. Slock is finally level 6. I don't think he can kill MMY alone. Much less, uh, much less Burning. And now Beat Little Children has reconnected back into the game. Burning as, uh, as well as Treads. Mushi. It's going for his Oblivion Staff, going for a quick, quick Orchid here, the Elder Dyer's Titan with a level 2 spirit, attack. level 2, yeah, level 2 spirit, it's going to try and get something done now, MMY going to get caught here on the side lane, is Ruby going to lift him up, and MMY might actually die here, body blocking coming in from, so, uh, coming in from Lanham, will he not get that kill, and oh wow, Mushi just killing a lot of people, Shanqing, he gets a void to the face, 12 to 3, Tong Fu, I don't want to, I don't want to say it's over, Dyer's middle tower but it's over. is under attack. Twelve to three. Visage. If you, want, we don't even need to see network. It's a bully Dyer's right now. If you look at the levels, you can fallen. see it's three on Titan, four on Visage, five on Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden is because she's been jungling. Sunshine has been trying to help all the lanes. This is one of the points where Visage falls short. He really can't help to gank a lot if you don't have a lot of good supports on your side. Or if the enemy is just too tanky, too powerful. Night Stalker is bulky, now Slark in big, big trouble. There's going to be a glimpse to send him back home and you can't dodge the glimpse. Yep, the glimpse is going to send him back as a kinetic heal. Faithful, the two supports killing the hardest carry on Tongfu squad. This is not looking too hot for them. Net worth is seeing four of heroes above, above the, um, the rest of the D the DK has four heroes buffed the Tong Fu squad and with Disruptor just sitting a little bit at the bottom. Now Slark overtakes a little bit, but it's still not looking good at all. This is really, really bad. And Night Stalker just gonna be chasing here. No, Burning gets caught out! 13 to 4. So they actually get a kill here with the big zip in here by the Storm Spirit. They will get one kill on Night Stalker with a lot of heroes ganking, but this is looking still pretty bad. Ice Ice Ice, like I said, he just owns on the tri lane, owns on the off lane. He just knows what to do, he knows every nook and cranny, so might, a little, might have a little bit of trouble to blink away. Mushi just trying to bait out some stuff because he is a regeneration, and now let's get TP in from from the Bristleback himself, he's gonna come in, there's a Grave Chill stolen by Rubik, the Storm Spray gonna zip away and TP by no nope. Glimpse, come back, where are you running Sonny? That's gonna be a scream, that's gonna be a rack -like. wicked sick here from Mushi, he's gonna die forth, look for more heroes, where is, where are they? But Sun Chang's gonna run away, no familiars to now, and Tong Fu's toe, still trying to farm up the drums, but how much is that gonna do? Ice Ice Ice, mechanism by 11, and they're gonna just group up as 5 and just push now, Sentry Ward could drop, if they want, it's Chinese words for this observer as well, and so Kabu. That's MJ. They are just gonna try and smoke up, try and get some big kills on the board. Tong Fu, so gonna find Queen of Pain. But what are you gonna do against Queen of Pain? You pounce the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain's gonna blink away. There's a big zip here. Where's the pull? There's gonna be a zip as well. That's not a pull, but how much is that gonna do? A glimpse gonna be sending the Storm Spray back. Storm Spray's gonna get out of there. Mushi's gonna survive. And now you're out of mana on your Storm Spray. Sunshine says, Oh shit. Oh shit, and now Night Stalker, is he gonna close the curtains? Ice 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 dropping real low, Sonic Wave, Godlike, double kill, triple kill! Mushi, just wrecking face, just GG in all chat? No, no GG, we're gonna continue playing out this game, Atong Fu just taking a beating right now. 8-8, eight, eight. please, is that... Sha Wo Jiu Tong... Sha Wo Jiu Nope. I think that you know... It's really sad right now. Mo is really low on mana. Ice 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 is gonna push this. Yeah, Dyer's he's definitely gonna push the issue. He's gonna zip to the top and yeah, take charge for him. So Ice Ice Ice. Oh, he will at least leave the illusion. Handle, free of me. 
Yeah, then why? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Sanshang. Boost the speed. Kabu with the bracer. Not looking good for them at all. 17 to 4 net worth. Mushi just having the best game of his life on his screen of pain. His corp of pain. 10 0 and 1. Now Roshan is definitely in the works here if they do want it. If, if Mr. Bristleback gets a little bit more mana, he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Lanham sitting right on top of an observer. What they're going to smoke right on top of it as well. Will they get the pings out? No pings coming out, but I think they saw that all the same. Or they could just be crying. The tears just obstructing vision. We'll see if they know. And now Mu. That'll be the choice target. Bristleback with the illusion. Nope, here's Spellfield. So, gonna get his spell stolen. What's stolen? Oh, nice! Shadow Dance! Rubik is now the Night Magus. The Grand Crawler. Dyer's He's gonna have so much fun with this. So fun stealing this. Stealing Borrowed Time as well as Shadow Dance. Such an amazing thing as a Rubik. You just have so much fun just feeling immortal. And now, let's see what else happens here. Burning. Gonna push down middle, they're gonna force the issue. 17 to 4. Their gold graph and XP graph are so obscene, I'm not gonna look at them anymore. There's gonna be a lift up here. Rubik, gonna caught out here, Kabu. Gonna catch the Elder Titan, there's a void as well. Half health on that, they're gonna dive it. Yes, Dyer's we dive. Yes, sir. Attack. Kabu gonna be in trouble. Gets brought down here by burning. Own age 18 to 4. They're gonna take another tier 2 tower. <laughs> and the scream of pain coming out from Mushi. He's gonna blow up the creep wave, so trying to get something done. Gets a quill in his back for his trouble. Attack. And the tier 2 tower will fall like. Rain, the silence comes out and so is there a blink silence, blink scream, blink scream, sonic wave burning, diving a little bit too far, get some frost on his wings, but no fear, Slock is looking really, really red, you Dyer's might want to get that thing looked at, has fallen. yeah, I really want to get that thing looked at, and, attack. MMY, disruptor on him. Mushi. Orchid Malevolence on him. It's gonna be a very very easy shutdown on the Slock and line him with the Bracer and Arcane Boots and with the Shadow Dance. Dyer's top tower is Burning. under attack. Bashing away the tower, he's working to his BKB, not taking any chances, no bris no Dagon Dyer's gaming coming out. Out of Titan uh, was actually looked at there by Mushi by Mushi. Getting getting spotted Radiant's out there by the sentry wall will save attack. the other Titan's life. But he had a TP anyway, so easy for him to get out of there. Move, he's gonna run away. And he's gonna run away, Slot. Lashes onto Burning. Not exactly the best target. You wanna hit Batman, Maybe Batman punches you. But now Lanham. Yeah, Shadow Dance. Get in the Shadow Dance now, Lanham. Gets the Shadow Dance. Giggles to himself. Giggle, 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 giggle. And he will actually kill off. Green of Fate gets one kill on the board. He picks off Ice Massage. Kabu gonna get killed. CM going down. Slot buys back. But Mushi is just rolling face at this point. The M God says, I'm gonna rip you. And Mu says, Mercy, please. M God he gets lifted on the high ground. Gets tossed back down to Queen of Pain. And he's gonna zip up there a lot. But nope. Chuck Tester. You're not running anywhere. Mushi turns him into Vape. And now 23 to 5, Slug finally calls GG after that buyback. He realizes that what the F am I doing? I can't even farm, so I'm gonna tap out. 33 to 5, congratulations to DK. DK they take this 3-0. They had this coming for quite a while. And Tong Fu, well, well, well. So is probably not gonna feel too nice about this. Probably might cry himself to sleep. But it's a big tournament. DK finally breaking the curse of being number two in big tournaments. So their first. I think it's their first online win, am I wrong? Could be, uh, well, probably not their first online win, but a first online win in a long time. They have been losing um, to the, in the Grand Finals for quite a while now. So now they finally take it over, over Tong Fu. And 12-0 Mushi just rolling face, 600 GPM on that Queen of Pain. And the highest GPM on the side of Tong Fu is Moose Storm Spirit? No, Slock. Still Slock at 276. So this game falls apart at the seams and Tong Fu fans will go home a little sadder. But then again, Dota 2 Lounge pretty prophetic today and DK actually having being the clear favorites as they are 3-0, easy stomp, easy life, easy rares and that concludes our Feng Yun tournament. And the Dota 2 tournament hosted by Roshan and a whole bunch of other stuff. You can see the sponsors here, the Star guys, TT, Carol.
that's some spelling for Carol and Feng Yun of course very uh, very big shout out to them for hosting and supporting esports and of course I'm Lysander Zenora casting for you guys on behalf of Beyond the Summit follow them for future updates on Facebook and Twitter you can follow my Facebook and Twitter at Lysander Zenora and on both so like my page follow my Twitter for all those support thank you guys really love you all you have been a wonderful audience and I'll see you guys the next time I cast not so sure when that will be but I'll be in chat once in a while to drop a couple here and there alright Thank you guys for watching, that's our stream for tonight, free broadcast might be coming up, so stay tuned if you are just tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time, much love and kappa!